Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So as requested, I uploaded the longer version of this tutorial here. This is one of my short tutorials on Instagram. If you haven't started following the hashtag short tutorial, I'll be posting many tutorials on Instagram every week. But since you guys wanted it, this is the longer version of the hair tutorial for you guys here on YouTube. Now to get started, the day before I actually applied this styling cream from Texture ID to my hair and allowed it to dry and that is the only thing that's currently in my hair as I am detangling it so as you can see I'm just using my Demon brush to brush out my hair to kind of give it some volume so that we can work with it or you can always blow your hair out with a blow jar if you want the same or similar effect then I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning my hair I'm going to be using sections that are pretty small and honestly I would recommend going even smaller I'm gonna use the orange rods on the bottom and the pink rods up top because we want the smaller curls on the top of my hair and the longer curls or larger curls on the bottom to make a more natural vibe. Then I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner spray from Texture ID to moisturize and then the Myel Organic style setting spray to actually set the style. So a lot of you wanted to see a slow-mo of how I actually wrap my hair in the rod. So I'm gonna show you guys here how I do it. Essentially, I'm wrapping my hair around the rod instead of just rolling my hair in the rod. This creates a more uniform and cuter curl in my opinion. I do this all the way around, making sure that I keep a tight hold on my hair. This helps the style be smoother too. If you have struggles keeping the rods at the tip of your head or at the root of your head, make sure whenever you are attaching the bottom end of the roller to snap it in front of your hair. That's what creates the tightness. So if you do it the opposite way, your rollers won't stay tight. So sometimes it's just a matter of direction instead of trying to you know, do something extra. Another thing was, if you don't have a hooded dryer at home, you can always sleep with these in overnight to help them dry. It might take a little bit longer depending on your hair type or how much hair you have, but I find that 45 minutes to an hour under the dryer is perfect for me, especially since my hair isn't completely wet whenever I first initially do this style. That's the number one key for me. After years of doing rod sets, I found that I get the best results when my hair is brushed out, air dried beforehand instead of going from soaking wet hair to putting the rods in. The drying time is just like astronomically shorter when I do it that way. So once the rods are completely set, and I mean completely set, I'm gonna go ahead and start unraveling them and I'm doing this very gently and meticulously all around my hair. And then I'm gonna coat my hands in this Jane Carter oil just to add some nourishment and some shine as I'm taking the curls apart. So I'm gonna do this very gently again. You don't wanna cause any frizz or any too much, um, you don't wanna over manipulate your hair too much essentially because you wanna maintain the curl as much as possible, especially if you want this style to last you a few days. As the days go on, your hair will get bigger and fluffier. So if you wanna mess with your hair a lot, like I am with this pick, then go for it. But I would say do it to a minimum because your hair will expand and kinda get more of a natural feel as the days go by. And once we're done fluffing, these are the final results. Y'all, this is probably one of the best rod sets I've ever done. I'm so happy with the results and I really feel like it's because of the products, the lightweight products that I use. I think creams and gels can be a little heavy for my hair type. So using these sprays and oil instead of creams helped a lot and really let my hair flourish in this style. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow my hashtag short tutorial on Instagram so you don't miss any more of these short tutorials on Instagram. Love y'all, bye.